So here is what our bathroom looks like right now. Obviously, it's a mess. You guys have been watching my hygiene haul videos. I've just kind of been throwing stuff in here because my husband has been updating the bathroom. So I knew that I was going to organize it and clean it. I didn't really care what everything looked like. Sorry if you can hear the baby in the background. That's just mom life right now. So if you followed me on my like old channel, you probably saw my bathroom a lot more there. And before the walls were brown, when we moved in, they were brown, we painted them white. There used to be like a wooden medicine cabinet here with a mirror. It was very small, it barely held anything and it was just like super unattractive. There was the original mirror here. So we replaced the medicine cabinet with these shelves that we got from Ikea. They hold a lot more. I've just kind of been seeing how they could hold things over here. Like I said, obviously everything's not organized. That's why we're here right now. We replaced the old mirror with this new mirror that we got from Amazon. These cabinets were that natural wood. We painted them white, just like we did with the kitchen. And then we replaced the hardware to match the kitchen as well. Eventually do wanna change out this to black to match everything else. But for right now, it's just gonna stay like that. We also added this black towel bar, which I believe is from Home Depot, if I remember correctly. So when we moved in the towel bar, they had a silver one over here and there was like no storage here. So when we first moved in, we bought like this white storage cabinet that went on the wall from Bed Bath & Beyond. It held a little bit. The quality, I guess, was not that great because like the paint was chipping off. So we ended up taking it down and we do have to fill in that hole. So just ignore that. We'll get to that at this video as well. But we just replaced it with these three shelves that we picked up from Target. I bought two of these. They're, again, just holding random things. But I actually bought them to hold toilet paper. So one's gonna go right here in our bathroom and the other one's gonna go in the kids bathroom. I did end up adding these two little corner shower caddies. I bought two more because I ended up really liking them. So I'm gonna, I bought two more to put on this side and then I bought a small rectangular one to hold like my bar soaps that I'll probably put over here. And eventually we're gonna get like a new shower head. Probably we'll get a black shower head and stuff. And then, oh yeah, let me show you guys the clutter down here. So I hate this cabinet because it's just like one large cabinet. There's no shelving in it. So it's really hard to keep it organized because there's just, as big as it is, there's no space because it's not used properly. So I bought a bunch of stuff off of Amazon that is stackable and has drawers to pull out. And I'm hoping that this can get under control because eventually, as you can see, we just end up throwing things in here and we just dig it out if we need it. A small bathroom is really something that we're not used to. And I'm not saying that to like brag, just in our apartments. Every place that we've ever lived has always been like a true master bathroom. It's had dual sinks. It's had a big shower and tub. It's had a linen closet in the bathroom. It's had way more storage. This is the least amount of storage we have ever had in a bathroom. So it's been kind of a learning experience on how to <laughs> keep it nice. Really just trying to focus on making the most out of the space. So when we do go up to sell the house, you can see that this small bathroom is functional even though it's tiny. So when people come to look at the house, they can see themselves here at home. That's really just what I'm trying to accomplish here. So I'm going to clean out everything and then I'm actually going to deep clean the entire bathroom and then I'm gonna start organizing. Here we go, here we go again. Trying hard, but you wanna be my friend. Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run to. Here we go, here we go again. Call my bluff, I'ma be you till the end. I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride to. If you Ain't no one to ride to 
Okay guys, I am so happy with how this turned out. Let me kind of show you around, starting with the shower. I obviously 
color coordinated my stuff. I do have like a cream set and a blue set, but those are put away when I want to use one of the other sets and obviously I will exchange them out, but I liked these colors the best together. So here we are. In the orange, we have my orange loofah, the bubble bath soap in the raw coconut mango scent, the body wash, body scrub, the shaving cream. I also put my exfoliating gloves right here as well. In the pink set, we have my pink loofah. We have the Moroccan rose body scrub, the pure peace body wash from method body Miro Miro butter and rose conditioner from beauty and planet rose water and pink sea salt body scrub and wash from ogx we have my hair mask back there and then my pink shave gel for dry skin put my pumice stone up here as well for my feet I have my razor my face brush that i use and the shower i picked this up from amazon it comes with other brush heads and stuff i really really love this it's amazing here we have my bar of soaps this caddy i got from the container store honestly it's been a nightmare to try to get it to stick right now it's holding up i'll probably end up getting another one because i keep having to reattach it and it finally started sticking for like the past three hours so i thought i'd go ahead and put my soaps in there I don't know if it's going to last. I'm afraid to put any more bar soaps there, but just for you to get an idea, I do want to have them all standing up. So I'll probably end up getting a new bar soap container, but this is what's here for right now, just to give you an idea. My cream loofah up here, just because that's going to go with all of my like sensitive soaps or my not really harsh scented soap. So I'm always going to need that. So I just put it up there because there was already a command hook up there. Obviously the Dove Deep Moisture Wash, which I use constantly. Then here we have all my green stuff, the green loofah, the coconut lime body scrub, coconut lime shave oil, the coconut oil body wash and mousse, the Method Body Cucumber Seaweed and Green Tea Deep detox body wash the sea kelp and hyaluronic acid scrub and wash from ogx then down here we have all my purples obviously the purple loofah the biotin shampoo and conditioner and leave-in conditioner and detangler spray in here as well i have my fenty skin total cleanser in here just because it is purple i recently just purchased the travel size of the skincare i have this the moisturizer and the fat water I just wanted to test it out because my skin, again, is really sensitive and I don't always know if things are going to work out. So I just got the travel size, but I have been absolutely loving her skincare line. So I think once I finish this, I am going to buy the full size products. I just really, really recommend this stuff. It's been amazing for my skin, I feel like. Then I have the Dove Polish in the Lavender Scent. I have the Olay Shea and Lavender Oil Body Wash, French Lavender Shave Cream back there as well. On top here, I just put the rest of my shampoo and conditioners and sprays and also my curl maker and obviously my Q-tips. I think I'll end up putting the coconut one with the mango and coconut scrubs right here and body washes. It does have kind of that orange look to it. And then I'll probably end up, once I use up the pink conditioner and stuff that I have, I'll probably put that with my pink stuff. And for right now, I just didn't want there to be an empty shelf. So I just put that stuff up there. I have the rest of my tree hut scrubs. I have two more coming in. There's plenty of space on here to do like another row and like it will hold another stack, I think. So once those come in, then I'll kind of revamp this, but I do have the space. Here I have my washcloth, a little plant that I got from the Target Dollar Spot, my Dr. Bronner's Bar Soaps in the Baby Unscented version, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. And then I have this candle that I got for Christmas. It just smells like a really clean house, so I think it's perfect for the bathroom. We have <laughs> our toilet paper. This is meant to be hanging up here right under the shelf, but the hooks that I bought for this don't even hold the shelf up. So we're probably just gonna have to nail it in, but my husband's doing other stuff right now with all his tools. So I didn't get a chance to nail it in right now. So right now it's just sitting on top of the toilet. It looks fine like that, but eventually I do want to hang it up up here, kind of fill in that empty space. Here we have all my deodorants and my body sprays. I actually have equal number of everything, which is pretty cool. I didn't think that was gonna happen. Eventually I'm gonna get more deodorants and more body sprays, obviously. So all that will end up going on 
this top shelf, either the deodorants or the body sprays once I get more. And that's why I'm going to move these. But now I just have the equal number and it all fits perfectly right there. So that's going to be that for right now. And then here I just have the TheraBreath Oil Rinse, the Hello Activated Charcoal with Fresh Mint and Coconut Oil Toothpaste, the Grace and Stella Spray All Day Rose Spray. I have my Lavender Linen Spray, which I love. I picked this up from Amazon. I don't have much left of this, so I just went ahead and put it up here so I could see it and use it up right away because there's really not much left. I used it more for my pregnancy. I don't really go for it right now, but I do want to use it up. Another plant that I got from the Target Dollar Spot. I just kind of feel like the plants help liven up the space, even though <laughs> they're fake plants. And I have my hand soap right here as well. I'm trying to keep the countertop clean. I don't really want much on the countertop itself, so... I have it all up here. And then here we go for the real organization. Oh my gosh. Does this not look like such a huge difference from what was here before? I can't believe it looks like this. I have an empty drawer, I guess you could say, right here. I did kind of label them with a little chalk marker that's easy to wipe clean if I want to change it up a bit. I don't really have any makeup. I want to go buy some and I saved this drawer for that so I can kind of get into the, I don't want to say habit, but I do want to learn how to kind of apply makeup this year. It's on my 2021 resolutions because I don't really know much about makeup and I don't really know how to apply it so I saved a little drawer for that then here I have all of my vitamins my cranberry pills my probiotics I have my hair vitamins in there I have my dental hygiene my toothpaste and toothbrush and stuff is in here for right now but we also got extra toothpaste a little travel size mouthwash extra toothbrushes and then floss. I want to find a new like toothpaste and toothbrush holder that I can put one of the shelves but I don't like the one I have. It's clear. You can always tell when it's kind of getting dirty and I don't like that but I haven't found one that I like yet so I'm just going to keep the current toothbrush and toothpaste in here but once I find one I'll take those out and this will just be like extra stuff. I put healing on here so we have like eye drops for irritated eyes, we have the biofreeze, we have like cortisone, we have saline for like the nose, we have nail clippers, we have icy hot and things like that so this is just gonna be kind of like first aid type stuff maybe I want to get some band-aids we do have a first aid kit but I want to get some like band-aids and gauze and like other kind of essentials just here and there to put in there as well we have our medicines we have like cough drops we have Benadryl Sudafed we have some like aspirin I think yeah and like Tylenol we have allergy relief stuff just a whole bunch of basically medicine type things I have eye care so just my extra contacts and my saline solution just all pretty and organized i love how it looks I have my stuff <laughs> this is just all my lotions and my extra body washes that aren't out in the shower right now and my extra shaving creams and whatnot so it's all stacked in here and then back there i just kept one of the clorox wipes just to always have on hand to have like an easy kind of quick wipe to wipe down the countertops and the toilet and whatnot when I don't feel like doing like such a deep clean. So it's back there already to have that way every day I can just give a quick wipe down. My face care, so like the rest of my Fenty products are in here, my moisturizers, there's some face mask in here, eye mask and things like that. So it's all in that little bucket. And then here is my feminine care. I have all my tampons super medium and then light in the back here I just love how that looks like I really love this tampon drawer <laughs> I don't know it just looks so pretty the way it's all organized I'm kind of obsessed with it and then here I have my hair care so I have like my satin bonnet in here which I picked up from Amazon recently and I love it it's so big and it just holds all my fro so I'm obsessed with it I have an extra conditioner my like curl refresher back there my leave-in conditioner my silk scrunchies which I don't know where the rest of them are I'm wearing one and here's one but I know I have like five more somewhere so I need to find them and put them in here 
and then regular scrunchies. And here we just have my extra bars of soap. So if you saw me organizing it, there's the Dove white bars in here. And then I have, let's see, the pear bar soaps in here. And then I think in the back is my coconut. Nope, nope, nope. There you go, my coconut milk, is that what it is? What did I buy? I don't even remember. Yeah, coconut milk bar soap, so. It's just so clean. I can't believe that it looks like this. I'm really actually just kind of impressed with the whole bathroom. It looks so good and I'm so happy. Like I actually want to be in my bathroom now and I think that's huge. So thank you guys so much for watching this organization video of our master bathroom. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. Have a great rest of your day and week and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.